Welcome back to the Jaws Challenge at Peahi as we shift gears into the men's competition. Round one heat run with Billy Kemper, Alex Botello, Ryan Hipwood, Grant Twiggy Baker, Russell Bierke, and Mark Healy all out in the water. Kuiper Girl along with Dave Kalama and Peter Mel. On the other side of the coin, well, let's get back to that because we got a paddle here and it is Billy Kemper up and riding gliding down a giant wall of water, pulling into the barrel. It's a cave, it spits, and explodes all around Billy Kemper. And wow. he's starting off showing exactly what his intent is at the 2018 Jaws Challenge. Look at that, he's up already, so... He was rewarded for going for it. We all know that sometimes wiping out in the barrel is the best place to wipe out. Uh, you know, he did not have the best result at the very first event. And we only have three events that are scheduled on the Big Wave Tour. So he knows this is the event where he's going to have to uh, step it up. And obviously, he has done that first opportunity for him. And look at driving into the barrel. But I'll tell you, watch this spin. OK, that's not your typical pipeline spin. <laughs> I mean, you can't even really throw a comparison to what that is. I mean, you could have put out the entire fire with that hose. That's, that's that. Uh Himalayan avalanche type spit where the whole mountain's coming out. I mean, I, I mean, it's really hard to control yourself uh, in those situations, but how committed. Look at how he had to wait off the bottom. He'd have all this speed. He has to wait as long as he can to be able to turn up into the face. But look at this barrel. What a view. Well, well, if that's uh, what we're going to see today, I get on. we got to wait for a score, but I tell you what, I'm giving it a pretty darn high one. The corner. Here we go. Oh, no. What? Alex Botello. And oh. he gets pummeled on the bottom, breakdancing oh. on the bottom of a 40-foot wave. Looked like things were going right for him. Oh. I mean, Until he would have been just the bottom. so happy to be able to make that drop. And that's the bravery that this guy, you know, he is in the uh, uh, auditorium, the Roman Coliseum. <laughs> And he is fighting dragons right there. You know what's smart about that? When that set came in, all of our attention was up at the peak. The swell right now, it is pulsing in a huge way. Patello, again, so he would have been so stoked at that point, like after the drift, but there's that bump at the bottom of the wave to be able to set that edge. Even as strong as Alex Patello is, he cannot keep that rail engaged. You see right here, there's those bumps. He hits the speed bumps. He literally is going probably, like you said, 40 miles an hour over some two-foot moguls. From his perspective, he recognized he had to get down the line to potentially set up the barrel, or at the very least, to survive, right? So he committed himself to that turn, even though knowing that speed and, and those bumps were going to make it difficult to pull it off, but he went anyway. She's coming alive. Jaws. Scratching into this one. Oh, beer key. Kicks out on top wisely. Look at that thing grind down the line. Okay. Perfect 50 foot waves. <laughs> Looks like we got a taker, and it's Russell Berkey skittering down this face, large wave face. Russell makes it to the bottom through some of those big chops, and he's going to kick out with a successful ride. Uh, he's lucky that cannon didn't just blow his head off. It sure looked <laughs> like it was going to. We refer to different parts of the wave. And he had better positioning. He I had mean, better positioning. I mean, and that's the thing. As you see that spit, he would have been blinded from that first uh, part of the takeoff. And at this point, yeah, you're right. The confidence is uh, exuding. That kicking out the channel elation is uh, definitely something that he'll be feeling going into the rest of this heat. Confidence, momentum are everything in big wave surfing. Pete, there were days I would drive up, and, and thankfully this didn't happen very often, but there was dry, days I would drive up to Piahi, I'd look at it and go, not today. You just have that feeling, that little voice is telling you, not today. These guys don't have that option. No, they don't. It is today, yeah. and they have to go. So what's the best way to approach it? Get momentum, get that confidence, and he right now has done himself such a favor Impressive. I mean, Russell needs to weigh about, what would you say, Pete, 150 pounds yep. to be able to skip down that wave with all of that velocity and just the physics involved in being able to get down that wave face. Yeah, well, he's yeah, got confidence in his equipment. Brave men are challenging the ocean right now. A big paddle here. Grant Twiggy Baker on the takeoff. 
Oh, and it is up. a humongous wave. Twiggy pulling into a big barrel. Oh, he rode a little bit too high, but oh, what God, a God. wave. What's going on? Gentlemen, What's going on, Pete? That was a coliseum that he pulled into <laughs> of concrete and water. Oh, man, that was crazy. Do you see that wave lift in the middle portion of it? And he still was able to control it and get up underneath. We've seen two of potentially the best tube rides ever seen at Biahi. Now, they didn't make it out, but to get in and ride as long as they did, if they come out of that, there's no way that's not a 10, right? You can see his board oh, made it out. He was, that was him. <laughs> he got spit out. And, a... and we're halfway through the first heat. Oh, and what we've is seen some bring? of the best barrel riding to date. Oh, the water angle, Peter. Look at the double up. That's where it goes vertical, right there. I mean, there's a whole ledge of water. And that is real, real jaws coming to life. I mean, that's the kind of stuff that we usually want a tow rope with. But now, doing it with his own two arms and uh, such amazing bravery. Look at it right here. That wave jacks. And look at it, it is like a, a pipeline wave. But it is 50 feet on the face. And he did everything right. He's up high. But that's uh, it's just too much water being spit out of the guts there and just could not control it. But th amazing performance there. Sets continue to stack here at Peahi. Alex oh, Patel no. going to go over the falls there. Yes, he Ooh. is. And he's going to be in a giant washing machine. Wow. Oh, gosh. Uh, these warriors. Gladiators. Gladiators. Gentlemen, this has gone to a whole different level. Mark Healy wants to get on the conversation on the back oh. end. He pulls into a giant barrel with no exit. Chest punishment. All hard, Mark Healy. What do you call that? A Hail Mary? I mean, that's uh, it's way more than a Hail Mary. That was, uh, I mean, there was no way that there was going to be an exit out of that one. But again, looking at, and the experience being, it's much better to pull in to yeah. the tube and have the energy around you. Is the margin for air um, getting smaller? Yes. The, the possibility of being successful is getting narrower and narrower as the surf gets larger. But that is what makes a big wave surfer a big wave surfer. He, he disregards yeah. that, that, that sense of denial I was talking about earlier. It's kicking in right now. And these guys are pushing themselves so hard to, to historic levels. That's what I was going to say. And the opportunity to make history this year at the Jaws Challenge right in front of us. One, one wave can make a career. Now, it won't break a career, but for instance, Clark Little. Brock Little, excuse me, not Clark. Set the heat, guys. Billy Kemper out in the lead with an 8.17. We doubled that. Grant Baker for his attempt, a high good score of a 7.63. We doubled that. Twiggy's in second. Ooh. Billy's in first. Mark Healy, he just got a 5.07. He's in third. And here is Billy oh. Kemper with a brutal wipeout. Man, you know what? It, it's like everything is going right they're they're in the position they're getting the speed they're getting to their feet is going to be a lot higher on the left side sorry about that that was ryan hipwood that we saw on that wow. wipeout and that's billy kemp for a replay of his wipeout the interval the length of the interval has really added that extra wedge in the middle of the way more takers here and that looks like it was alex Botello back on board on a new board rights have become so ferocious and such a small margin for air to make it, I move to the left. The left has some civility to it. Berkey, hurls halfway down the face, and another just victim of jaws, clamping teeth and molars, chewing them up. Man in the hot seats, Russell Berkey, but it looks like Berkey is going to make his way into the semifinals too because we just got five seconds on the countdown. Yeah, that's it. You know, and again, you've got the veteran, uh, the most winningest surfer, and the youngster making it through. So we're about to move into our next heat. Those guys have an opportunity. They have had, had the opportunity to sit in the channel and watch. How do you get off of the bench <laughs> and go walk onto the field now?